no matter what happens after this veto ceremony, someone's gonna be mad at me. So, in order to get the attention off of me, I have to cause drama and fights between everyone else in the house. And then it hit me like a Mack truck. Why not play a game at the veto ceremony? Hey, Michelle. Yeah? You wanna come feed the fish? Okay. At the veto meeting, I'm gonna ask each individual who they think should be the replacement nominee. Now, I want each house guest's name to be brought up in some way. That's gonna make an enemy out of someone possibly sitting across from them. No. All I need from you is a very honest answer. All I want is a name. This is between me and you. If you were to pick a replacement nominee, who would go up? You want to be honest? Yes. Keisha. Okay. I can count on Michelle to say Keisha. Let's cross Keisha off the list. I still need an Ollie, I need a Rennie, and I need a Michelle. I better understand where I'm coming from because if this blows up, I kind of got to cover myself. Um, you know I got your back, man. You have problems if I ask you in the meeting as a replacement. Who do you want? If it's Keisha, I don't have a problem doing it. So you have a problems? I have a problem saying that I, if I'm if I'm putting Rennie up. Well, that's what I need. Oh, that's, that's what I need. Man, dude. That's tough, Dan. Like I told you, man, I told you who I want, who I wanted to go up, and, and that's that's I mean that's the deal, and that's what you know. I should be final. Is that? Are you accepting? Yeah. That? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll do it. If that's the case, man, I'll I'll do it. You got my word, dude. All right. If you if you, if you follow through what yeah. you say, yeah. then I'll do it. All right. Ali said he's gonna say Rennie. Step two complete. Now I need to get Rennie or Keisha to say Michelle or Ali. Basically, I'm gonna go around and the four people who can be put on the block, I'm gonna ask them who they want up. Do you guys have a problem saying Michelle? Nope. Do you have a problem saying Ali? Why would you want to do that? If you once you see she... once you see what's gonna happen, you'll understand why. That. What are you talking about? What's going to happen? I, I don't. I really don't like it. I understand it. that, Brittany, but I no. Need I to... really. I think it's. I think it's a cop out. I do. So I see what you're doing. You really don't want to make the decision. It looks like Keisha and no. I are doing it, right? No. Um, if if you hear your name come come out of Ollie's mouth, will you feel better saying Ollie? But wait, Ollie's going to say my name. I know for a fact one's going to say your name and one's going to say your name. Michelle's going to say mine. Ollie's going to say Renee's. Whoever says my name, I'll say their name. If somebody was saying my name, I'd want to say their name. I'm not trying to put you in the fire. I'm not trying to do that. I wouldn't do that. Okay, I'll say it. If this all works, there's going to be fireworks in the air, and I'm going to be watching them from my HOH room. You guys have absolutely nothing to worry about. She's going up. She's leaving. I just need the fireworks. That's all I'm asking for. I'm going to use the power of veto on myself, take myself off the block, and Dan is going to put up Michelle and break his deal. You know, it's going to get crazy in here. Hopefully I can sit back and watch and relax. In a way, I do feel like I'm in, in a driver's seat because I am calling the shots. The power has never been taken from the HOH ever like this before. It really turns the game upside down, and um, I'm just really hoping that this thing follows through. All right, guys, as you all probably assume, um, I will be using the power of veto on myself to take myself off the block. Dan, since I have vetoed one of your nominations, I would like for you to nominate another person to take my spot. As HOH, this is the worst case scenario. I've made two people angry at me, and I'll have to make a third. However, in this house, everyone in here knows I like to have some fun. And I have fun by playing games. So right now, we're going to play a game, a very high stakes game. And I like to call that Replacement Nominee Roulette. Here's how you play the game. Number one, you will be asked who you wish to have as a replacement nominee. Only four people are participating. The second rule is you must be truthful. The third rule, if you choose not to participate and say, I don't think this is fair, I don't want to put someone up, you're going up. So here's how it works. You say a person's name. If you say anything but a person's name, you're going on the block. First person I'll play will be Michelle. OK, Keisha. OK. Ali. Ready. Keisha. Well, since my name was thrown out there, Michelle. And Rennie? 
What's it's always in my name? I'll say always. Now, the thing about any time when you gamble, you're taking a risk. And in this house, someone's gambled with someone else's safety. And unfortunately, you better know who's making a bet for you. And in this case, Ollie, you lost the bet. Michelle, go on the block. On that note, this meeting is adjourned. for somebody else's deal. Does that make sense? And I swear to God, if I find out he plants, which I know he is, seriously, do you think I'm stupid? Does it have stupid on my head? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if you don't think that I know what's going on here, you got another thing coming. Wow, I surprised myself with this one. You know, I've been playing this game very passive, laying low, but when an opportunity presents itself, Take a big shot in this game, you gotta take it. I just lit the fuse to the dynamite and I'm walking away. Big ups to Dan. If that's what he wanted, he wanted a circus, he got a circus. Because he's really done nothing in this game but piss people off. For him to uh, disrespect me in the way he did, I guarantee you that will be rectified before I leave here. By a vote of three to one, Michelle, you are evicted from the Big Brother house.